obedient to our usual Sunday service. Amen. 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 How was our Christmas celebration? Amen. So it was our first time that I think myself we didn't have enough time to celebrate together at Christmas Eve, right? We miss hugging, giving gifts each other, but Thankfully, we have our family to spend with during that day. Amen. Amen. Are we blessed? Amen. Though the weather is not good, but we are thankful that God gives us the strength to come over, to, keep, uh, to continue our praising to God. Amen. So let me share with you a verse before we start our praise and worship at Galatians 2, 20. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ lives in me. Amen. And the life which I now live in, the flesh I live by my faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Amen. This verse is so much love. We hear this repeatedly as often, right? And I heard also that Paul's imposing declaration yet about what exactly happens when someone is saved or justified by pleasing their faith in Christ. Amen. Amen. In a very real sense, Paul had fight that we become so closely attached to Jesus that we die with him. And he begins to live in us. He has been emphasizing that faith and faith alone is what save us. Amen. Amen. Okay, let us greet one another as we sing our welcome song and advance Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everyone.
these songs, it reminds me that our lives here on earth is not that easy. Sometimes it hurts, sometimes it's hard, sometimes it's dark and it leaves its mark. Like ashes of grief in the deepest part of our souls, where no one but God really see because he's before, behind, and above us. You may understand if you ever feel this ashes, you've ever lost a loved one, wondering if you'd ever be able to carry on without them at your side, face the fear of the unknown, felt the effects of disease and pain, been a victim of a deadly cancer, or you've been deeply wounded, betrayed, abused or mistreated. These are the reasons why we need Jesus in our lives every morning. Just like Job, Daniel, and Tamar, they've been through a hard situation in their time. But because they knew God is with them, they never lost their hope. And they pray, believe, and trust God so that, so that they overcome those trials. Okay, let us sing this song. Jesus, I need you. Christ behind 
Thank you. 
you are so good in our lives. Thank you for everything, Lord, that you reveal how majestic you are. Thank you for the Holy Spirit, Lord, that is working in the midst of us. Thank you, Lord, for this privilege that you allow us, O God, Lord, to give together, giving our praises and thankful heart to all of Lord, we pray for our group of uh, Excel who can uh, deliver the words this afternoon of God. From you, guide him, lead him, Lord, that only your words that comes out from his mouth will come to us. And as, we, uh, as well as the listener of God, Lord, help us to be ready and open our hearts and minds to listen to your word, God. And this we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.